Hey guys, what's up? Dizzy Nuts here. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to be showing one of a two-part series of taking photos around the Toy Story Land area. Today we're going to be focusing on day shots. Besides this, we're going to be walking around the area, looking at merchandise, and showing some other cool stuff that Toy Story Land has to offer. So, without further ado, grab your gear and let's head over to Toy Story Land. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is actually head over to uh, one of the stores here that's at Hollywood Studios. And the store is actually right behind me, right over there, we're going to walk up to it. Okay, so if you go down Hollywood Boulevard, we'll see the store here to the left. It's called Tinseltown Trinket and Real Vogue. This is where it used to be the store of villains and all this other good stuff. And here on the left side, they used to have some treats and frozen stuff like that. That is now all gone, guys. It's all gone and they made it into a merchandise shop. Half of it is Toy Story and the other stuff, it um, looks like it's all Pixar stuff. So let's go ahead and go inside. Let's go check it out. Ooh, Slinky Dog. Try me. You can hardly hear him. I think he's been pressed too many times. Ooh, Jesse hat. I'm not sure I would want to wear this with the heat that's doing right now, so... Right like the wind, bullseye! Squad leader, attention! question I get asked a lot is where exactly is Toy Story Land located and I like to tell them basically think that it's on the back part of um, Toy Story Mania and for example I'm gonna turn around here and this used to be the entrance for uh, Toy Story Mania and this over here is the entrance for Toy Story Land so the entrance for Toy Story Mania is actually now going in through Toy Story Land let's go check it out Okay, so as we walk into here to Toy Story Land, the first spot that I always recommend people is to shoot Woody. And you can actually do what this girl's doing right there, which is where you stand on the side right here. And you can actually get a good shot of Woody if you don't want to do the line. Now there's a couple of shops when you start walking into Toy Story Land, um, but they have basically the same thing. For example, you'll find these book bags and these hats as well as these slinkies and stuff like that. It's basically the same merchandise in both places. But, but just in case, um, always check the store that we went to first because I think they had more stuff over there. Um, this looks very similar to what the other cart had. So looks like they're basically the same thing. Okay. Okay, if we walk up a little closer, you're going to actually gonna see this fence right here. And this is another awesome spot to shoot these two guys. You got Rex and Jesse right there. And if we move along this fence, there's actually a bunch of other really good spots as well. And actually, where all these people are right here, but I think these people are actually waiting for the line for uh, the, the ride for Slinky. But if you stand right here on this fence and shoot this way, you get that awesome shot of, the, of Slinky coming down. Let's wait for it. And that one's awesome. If you actually take it with a telephoto lens, you could really get in close. And it's an awesome shot, guys. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, and we keep on moving along the uh, fence right here. We got some awesome photo opportunities. Okay, and obviously I haven't got everything here in the frame because this is not a wide angle lens. But if you take this with a wide angle lens like I did, this is how the shot looks. Okay, the next shot on the list, which is the one that I recommend for everybody, it's one that I've been asked a lot. It's, uh, I posted it pretty recently after the park opened, and it was one where you can see the slinky literally from the top, really cool. 
Okay, so if you go in through this bridge, like if we're walking in towards the Slinky Dog Dash, you'll see that the bridge, which is directly over the track of Slinky Dog Dash, um, you cannot actually see it. You can see that it's um, basically covered. So there's two things you can do here. One, you can actually shoot through the holes that are right here. For example, this one. Or even better, this one. Or you can go high, which is what I did. You take, you basically take that shot and then crop the corners, but check it out. Okay, so now we keep on walking towards the slinky entrance. Uh oh, and we take a left here. You got another bunch of great photo opportunities, like this one right here. There you go. And then another one, if you got the chance, if you got a wide angle lens, is actually right over here. I'm gonna go to the location, which is another one. which is right here. Okay, that's another really great photo spot to shoot this, uh, this attraction. Okay, so all this photography has made us thirsty or hungry. So why don't we go to Woody's Lunchbox? Let's go see what's on the menu. that people are sitting on are actually slices of cheese broken in half which is pretty cool okay so today we're actually going to be trying the mystic portal punch which is powerade mountain berry blast with flavors of lemon and lime and tangerine let's go give it a try now not surprisingly it was actually pretty good um, i do taste the powerade in it so it is like somewhat watered down or i guess that's the effect that they're looking for now, as expected, the whole area behind me, which is the seating, it's all taken. Um, they do have a couple of tables you can stand up and, uh, and do your thing if you want to. Um, let's keep on walking around to Storyland. Let's go. Go ahead, Gilda. Put your foot there. See how big it is compared to the Andy shoe. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so now if we take a left this time, which is when we head over here to the Alien Saucers, there's a couple of really cool shots. Obviously, right here, you can get this guy. But you gotta make sure that the trailers are not in the middle. So what I did is that you shoot upwards like this. Okay, so for this shot, what I do is that I actually open up my screen here, and I set it so I can see what I'm shooting at. I put it on the Gorilla Pod, and I walk over to where the thing is. Set the timer to it as well. That's it guys. That's how I take the shot. Let's go to the next one. Okay, another shot that I get asked a lot is how I took this shot. It was actually pretty easy. What I did was I put the camera on top of the uh, Gorilla Pod, the Joby Gorilla Pod. Make sure I was holding it uh, pretty steady and bent over the fence right there and I shot upwards and when you put the photo in the computer you rotate it and you get now another cool shot to shoot the alien saucers is actually from the side now you can shoot it from the front like right here but it's pretty hard to get this without anybody in it and that's how I took the shot that I'm going to show you here earlier but if you do have the chance here's right the spot that you should be able to shoot it with the fisheye 
Now you can, which is what I recommend, is actually shoot it from the side because you get nobody in the shot, or at least uh, not standing in front of it. So the way we do that is we actually walk towards the exit of the right side, and I took it from here. And the good thing of this shot actually is you got the little fellow right here somewhat looking at you directly into the camera because if you go over to these sides over here you'll just get the side or the top of his head this is how the photo looks okay another spot that people have asked me about shooting from is from back here which is if you keep on the exit of the right hand side of the alien saucers to shoot this stuff but i honestly although this looks really cool i haven't found any good shot for this or at least any good angle but again that's just my style if you want to come back here and take photos and you think it's great go ahead but i didn't include this on the list because i didn't find any uh i don't want to say good spots just that um i didn't find any good framing for a photo here so i'm gonna not put this one on the list okay so obviously obviously one of the top shots that you guys need to do is here with the luxo ball uh, which is awesome now the shot that i'm going to show you i did something really different because everybody likes to shoot the ball head on now what I did was actually put the camera on the tripod or the monopod, whatever you have, stretch your arm all the way to the top and shoot it from an angle. This is how it looks like. Okay guys, so that's it from Toy Story Land. Now these are the day shots. I will be doing another video for the night shots, so stay tuned for that. Now again, if this is the first time to tuning to this channel, my name is Dizzy Nuts and I do photography from the Walt Disney World Parks and I also do how-to videos. So if you like what you saw, feel free to click the subscribe button and make sure you click the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. Until then guys, stay awesome.